Hi, this is Michael Kohler with Coral Castle Explained. In my last video, I was discussing the significance of the Polaris telescope, as you can see here in the background, and how Ed was able to use it to depict the orbit of the Earth on what is called the sundial. Here is a picture of the sundial, which you can see is labeled here, and I will get back to the significance of these figure eights that you see depicted. In the research done on many megalithic sites, the alignment of structures seems to be of great importance to the builders. The Great Pyramid, specifically, each of its sides faces and is aligned with the cardinal points, north, south, east, and west, with an error from true north of only one twelfth of a degree. The work of many researchers, including Robert Bouval, have shown that Many ancient structures were also aligned with constellations, including the three pyramids of Giza at the Giza complex, which were aligned with the three belt stars in the constellation Orion. In regard to Ed, he went to a great deal of trouble to align the Polaris telescope so perfectly that a person standing from the north wall peering through the eyepiece would see the star Polaris. This amazing engineering feat done by a man with a fourth grade education led him to creating what is now called the sundial. The sundial seems to show figure eights that line the interior of this concave artifact. Ed had told visitors that he used it to tell time, remarking that only the hours between 9 a.m. and 4 p.m. were important because those were the hours that a man should work and he was not interested in any other hours. The hours were marked over the figure eights, each representing, purportedly, an hour of the day. Through my research, I have discovered that the figure eights that are shown are actually not figure eights at all, but actually represent an astronomical representation of the path that the sun takes through the sky. It is called an analemma. An analemma can be found on virtually any globe of the world. Essentially, the sun follows this path through the sky throughout the year, depending upon your location on the earth. It is also dependent upon the 23.5 degree tilt of the earth's axis and the elliptical orbit that the, sun, that the earth follows around the sun. Ed Lead Scaldon stated in his book Magnetic Current that astronomers did not know what really caused the seasons. He also claimed that science was wrong in regard to gravity and electricity, and that what he had discovered using his Polaris telescope as represented on his sundial would help scientists redefine science and also understand the true path that the Earth follows in its orbit around the Sun. It is my opinion that Ed was not stating that the Earth follows a figure eight pattern around the Sun as represented by the analemma, but that the path as represented by the analemma reveals that at certain times of the year, based upon our orbit around the Sun and our alignment with the Moon and other planets in the solar system, creates windows of opportunity by which the power that he used to do the miraculous was easier to access and utilize. As represented here in this calendrical representation of the analemma as it corresponds to the months of the year. Why is this important? It has to do with the speed of the Earth as it goes around the Sun, and it also has to do with something called torsion fields. In my next video, I will discuss what are called torsion fields and how this relates to the Earth's orbit, the Moon, the planets in our solar system, which are all represented to some degree in what is called the throne room. I will also discuss a concept called precession and how all of this relates to that inevitable end date, 2012.